going on? We're back and we're late. We're late for another food tour. That's right. South Bethlehem style. I swear we tried so hard to not do another food tour. We were brainstorming. We're like, we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to take them here. We're going to take them there. But we're like, but we just want every single food from Southside Bethlehem today. And we're like, yeah, well, that's the video now. <laughs> so last time we did a vegan food tour. And if you didn't check that out, make sure you go watch that now. And for all of our non-vegans, today we're doing a non-vegan food tour. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be good. And this is my last hurrah. So I am going full plant-based after the wheels come off today. And I will edit this out when she inevitably doesn't. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he's doing a wheelie. That's cool. No hands. Yeah. That's, that's a unicycle. Actually quite impressive. That's awesome. So we're at Lit Coffee Roasters. That's right. And it is lit. <laughs> that's what the kids say, right? Do they still say that? Oh, I don't think so. I, know. I, feel, I As soon as I said it, I was like, they don't say that Let anymore. Let us know if they still say that. Do the kids still say it? Is Lit still lit? <laughs> <laughs> well, we think it's lit, but what is even more lit? <laughs> I can't keep no. saying lit. <laughs> all right, but what happened is we're looking at the menu, we're looking at all of the delicious foods that they have, and bam, scones. I love scones. Has to happen. Let's just see what types that they have. Guess what kind of type of scone that they had? A carrot cake scone. What is my favorite dessert? Carrot cake! Mm -hmm. And it's vegan. And it's so vegan, look, so I'm like, mm, I'm getting the carrot cakes going. I don't know if they're gonna have it again, so we're getting it, and I'm pumped on it. So we mm -hmm. got one vegan carrot cake scone. A potato and kimchi Danish. It sounds Sound like great. you did a Mad Libs yeah. of like things that I know, and put them together. So I had to That's give that a true. shot. That's true. It does sound mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And I got a lavender oat milk latte. Mm -hmm. So actually, everything Classic. that we got here <laughs> was vegan. We'll make up for it on the back half. Don't you worry. We will. All right, want to try these? Let's do it. Ooh, baby. Let's try I'm it. excited. I'm so smells excited. so this good. Does smell Again. First up is the aforementioned vegan carrot cake scone. You're getting the smaller piece because... I, well, when a guy here, she's like, well, your kimchi danish is coming soon. I was like, we were going to split everything. No. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> we will be back. Done deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's like the perfect mix of carrot, cinnamon, Nutmeggy. That is carrot cake without all the stuff I don't really like about carrot cake. What don't you like about carrot cake? Sometimes I find it to be too wet, too heavy. And this is flaky. Mm -hmm. And this is like really, mm -hmm. really, really good. Like great with a coffee, you know? That is, that that is, is good with a coffee. Incredible. <laughs> I don't think this is going to last very long. You haven't heard much from her because she's been eating more of it the whole I'm time. I'm <laughs> going to finish this right now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Next is one of the potentially weirdest dishes I've ever heard of in my entire life. It is a Danish that with potato and kimchi. I, no, I have no idea what to expect. It smells savory. I was expecting a Danish, savory, you think, yeah. dessert, but uh, Yeah, no. I thought there'd be some type of cream on it, you know, a vegan cream on it, yep. but being a Danish. And this one is vegan too. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh-huh. Wow. Mmm, very complex. Mm -hmm. I have no words to describe what I'm eating right now. I'll be honest, last time I had kimchi, I didn't like it. So I didn't know how I'd feel. It's very good. The flavors work really well together. Mm -hmm. Definitely savory. Mm. More like you could get this for like a lunch thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to just quick lunch bite. It reminds me of a flatbread. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But very, very, very good. I'm not sure if this is a special. I didn't I see it on the menu. I have a feeling their bakery items rotate mm -hmm. depending on what they have. Mm -hmm. But it was a bigger menu than you normally see for a coffee shop. So I was mm. quite impressed with all the options that they had. Because I'm getting it everywhere. And then real quick, lavender latte. I Give can only imagine, given the bar that was set with the food. Oh, you know I got that little extra shot of espresso. That baby is good. Is it like smooth or sweet? Absolutely. Smooth. Talk me through it. I can't more latte. Oh my. 
<laughs> like the smooth creaminess of a latte. Mm -hmm. That's what I like the most about them. Better or worse than Pretty Bird? Nothing can be Pretty Bird. Nothing. I do agree with that. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take more than a sip to win me over. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> well, me and Pretty Bird unfolds. were together for a long yeah. time, okay? <laughs> this isn't just like, we can't just get over it. Yeah, this is new. <laughs> First stop, I would say massive success. Mm -hmm. Southside Bethlehem is bringing it. We're going to continue on to our lunch portion next because, I mean, we had to start with dessert and coffee. We're going to go to lunch and then we're also going to do a dinner. So we have two more places coming up. See you there. What do you got? Poutine. All right. Let's Yay. poutine. Put that teen in my mouth? <laughs> Don't be vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we working with here for part two on the t food tour? All right, part two, we had to go get a lunch from a lunch spot that I personally have been wanting to try since we moved here, but we've been eating plant-based that we haven't been able to. We finally got poutine. <laughs> Not just any poutine, this is poutine from The Flying V. So they started as a food truck and then in 2020, the best year of any year, they decided to open a brick and mortar restaurant. So they are still there, which I'm super excited about to try out. And honestly, it seems like they're thriving. Crystal's literally been talking about going to The Flying V since before we moved here. We drive by it all the time Yeah. And she goes, Look at that food truck place we can get food truck poutine and <laughs> I really want to try poutine. Neither of us have ever had poutine. No, but I've been to Canada like a million times and every time I've gone I didn't try poutine. I was really upset about it. So if we have any Canadians watching, I know it's probably not the same thing, but I believe it's Canadian owned. I, I believe the one partner of the partner duo is Canadian. A lot so. of signage, a lot of Canadian pride on yes. the we're hiring sign. They have a Canadian maple leaf. It yes. says like Canada everywhere. There's some I trust significant it. I Canadian trust it. pride. Yeah, it is the best that we can do given the area. So it is. <laughs> yeah. I, it, whether or not it's a representation, we're going to see whether yeah. or not it's good. <laughs> With the amount of cheese on these bad boys, I told you we'd make up for the vegan. <laughs> start to this video. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Mm -hmm. This poutine looks super legit. Oh my it God. looks just as though what I would think a poutine would look like. It is and they're super serious with their descriptions. We're being told that it is the best french fries straight from Idaho potatoes, <laughs> the best cheese right out of Wisconsin. You know they're known for their cheddar and then a homemade gravy mm -hmm. and that's just the classic. Mm -hmm. So I think we gotta let's try that out try. right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greasiest thing <laughs> I've been near in a really long time. <laughs> I'm trying to get a smaller bite, but the cheese is so creamy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's really good. Whoa. It doesn't taste like just, it actually doesn't taste like how I remember cheddar tasting either. Hmm. So, that's probably on me, but like it's really good. No, this is amazing. This I'm pretty sure is just a bite of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna eat a lot of this. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got the ultimate non-vegan special poutine. We have Montreal smoked meat with french fries, gravy, cheese, Dijon mustard, the fanciest of the mustards, and dill pickles. And it is heavy and it looks really good. Got a little bit of everything in that bite. That Drippy cheese. Oh my God. That is so good. This meat, the smoked meat is so tender and flavorful. We've gone to a couple of barbecue places in New Jersey and that are barbecue places and the meat's not as good as this. This is outstanding. My mouth is watering as I'm talking. <laughs> You're making I'm having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get my words out. It's so good. 
I highly recommend this. Okay, so we are wrapping that up and taking that home. Clearly too heavy to eat in one sitting. You'll have to pry me out of this car. That's like, right, yeah, there's no way I could get you I off the ground. I not <laughs> And then into the car and then home. I have to give you the actual food scene when you're sitting on the couch already. <laughs> it has to, I'm just going straight to sleep after yeah. that. But the best thing about the two places we just visited and the third place coming up is that they're all within walking distance. Mm -hmm. We're not walking because it's COVID and my hips and all of this stuff, but we are really excited for this summer to come back and maybe take you on a little walking tour of the South Side because it's super accessible. But now we're off to our third place, so time for dinner. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> okay, we are off to our third place, time for dinner. Where are we going? Mm -hmm. This was Let's your find. find. Out. Oh, okay, you're not gonna tell them. Okay. You don't get to know. Yeah, until now. <laughs> All right, rounding out the South Bethlehem food tour with another food that we've never had before. Mm -hmm. it, some Taiwanese food from a place called High Pot. And welcome to this very interesting shot because it's the only place in our apartment that gets enough light to even film this at all. <laughs> Might not be enough light, so sorry. <laughs> the food does look good though. Like Eric said, we've never had Taiwanese before, so we're super excited to see what these flavors are all about. Mm -hmm. I think it's the perfect way to round off um, some of our last non-vegan food. <laughs> That's right. Let's start with the dumplings first then. Yeah, because we each you have You do the them. honors. Oh, well we can do oh. them at the same time. Brilliant. <laughs> Here we go. One more cheers, maybe? Oh, yeah, sure. Mmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. There's nothing better than a dumpling. Well, yeah, that's good. That's very good. Like a pork and chive, I think, something mm -hmm. like that. Yes, I Your think run so. of the mill dumpling, but very good. Let's do ramen. All right, we have to scoop stuff out. Get it out, no, nope, oh, see? What, what are you doing? Oh, it's oh, greasy. Oh, it's greasy. Ah! Oh man, we need a. To... Uh-oh. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Here after a lot more setup than I had anticipated ever. Let's right. go for it. Yeah, I'll let you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. Wow, that's really unique. Mm, I have no spicy. idea what any of those flavors are. No. That is, this is, that's we got good. their, I think, signature ramen. Yeah. Like their signature um, ramen sauce. Yeah. And I have no idea what the flavors are. I find I it to be you. spicy. I find it to be very flavorful. Very flavorful. But my palate is not more complex than that. You're just gonna have to get it for yourself. <laughs> I want to try one of these things. I don't know what this is, but it looks sure, a lot like Sure, let me do that one. as well. Hold on. It reminds me of those sugar cookies that you bake. It seems like egg. Colored egg. I understand why you think that. <clears throat> that was spicy. <laughs> See? <laughs> Woo! It's really like nothing I've ever had before. That's delicious i don't know what it is and we can't look it up because apparently we can't access the menu anymore <laughs> <laughs> all right i think it's stinky tofu time i'm scared we put it off long enough it's time damn it i don't know about you guys but we love to sit at home and watch travel vlogs and food vlogs and see people eating all of the different foods that's out there and stinky tofu is something that we have seen a lot of videos on mm -hmm. A lot of people be really upset after <laughs> eating it. I read on one of the Yelp reviews, they said, someone should really warn you about the stinky tofu. So we're warning you, and we've been warned ourselves, but we still decided to do this and give it a try. Here we go. Oh, I'm so nervous. What are you holding? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh-uh, uh-uh, nope, no way. I could throw up right now. I need you to move because I need to get something to drink. <laughs> oh my god, that's so gross! Ah! I'm the only person that I've ever even seen eat this food without freaking out. It's not so bad, really not. But I'm squarely in the minority. <laughs> oh my god! It tastes like gym socks. I didn't get that. I look at you differently now. 
I think you got to, we're gonna have to throw this away. Oh. And focus on a lot of ramen, a lot of dumplings, and a lot of poutine that we still need to get to. We <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this food tour. Absolutely. Of Southside Bethlehem. I did, a lot. Well, I did too. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to go back. It's truly one of our favorite places. I can't wait to explore. Mm -hmm. Soon enough we'll be eating outdoors instead of doing takeout all the time. Mm -hmm. Let us know what food you like best and if you would try stinky tofu. And if you think I'm weird for thinking it's not horrible. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye See you guys. guys. <laughs>